Bit of a nippy one this morning, folks. You ready to go to work? Chance. You ready for work, lad? Good boy. Hey, Bye, Jim. Bye. So this double sink was in here when we moved in. No reason to throw it out. It's filthy, but it's not dinted. It's not smashed. It's just filthy. So I'm gonna clean her up and we're gonna put her back into service. I don't have a table to mount it on, so this might be something for me to uh, knock up out of a bit of scrap timber. So I'm not sure what most of the crap on it is. Let's hope it comes off relatively easily. It seems to. You can see the metal underneath. So maybe if I take the taps off, yeah, I think this will clean up. This is paint on this section here. Whether this is going to come off as easy, I don't know. Oh yeah. Get a good run with a scraper. It chips off. Beautiful. And if I rub it with a bit of scotch bright. I'm sure we could get the scratches out of it as well. Because I'm causing more scratches with this. looks like my friend. I'm extremely pleased with that. It's come up a bloody diamond, hasn't it? Right, the next job is get it plumbed in. Actually, no, it's not. I don't think I'll be able to do it today, but we need to get it plumbed in, so we've got a nice double sink to do any washing and cleaning in, which I need to do, because I've only got a tiny little sink up there in the toilet, which is no good. considerable amount of time cleaning all these components that went to make this tap and sink combination and there are a lot of components one might say so I'm just going to try and remember how all this went together and hopefully put it back as it was. Right, now I'm not going to put the taps on the sink actually because it's easier for me to handle the sink without any ancillaries on there to make a table. So I think we'll do that next and get it set over in the corner and then put the taps on. Right, because I'm gonna make a steel table when I get some 316, this is gonna be a temporary one to hold the sink unit. So it doesn't have to look pretty. So I've got all this scrap wood here. This is gonna be the shelf section. They're gonna be the legs. And this is gonna be the sink unit support. So I'm just gonna knock these together and just like that, we will have a sink unit. Mom, mom. 
to truth. Now that will scoobly doobly. Yes. So I'm going to put some sides on it, which will stabilise it that way, and maybe some type of brace at the back to stabilise it that way. Excuse the digression, but sometimes things get me uh, distracted. So this is a tube of silicon I got out to start to seal the drains into the sink. I've had this for ages. I've had it that long, in fact. That's the end. And this is the silicon inside the tube. <laughs> it smells like vinegar. It smells like Tom's own bro. <laughs> I'm funny. Look at that, it's like a candle. Hey up, hey Gemma. Hey. <laughs> no, only joking, only joking. God, that's mad, isn't it? Shall we cut it? It's just a big tube of silicon. I can't even cut it. No, it won't. Oh, that's got some tensile strength. Look at that. Well, I never. I might throw it at Stuart when he comes in. Anyway, back to the job at hand. The moment of truth. Weak feet, is it the same height? It goes down here. It's good enough for me. What do you think? I think it's okay. Jones, is it okay? Yes, it's alright. Thank you, I'll do. So there she be. Solid ish. Just needs plumbing in, and then at least we have a wash, sta a wash station, and everything else will form around it. But another job off the list. Sweet! It's getting a bit dark. I think I'm going to go up to the pub and have a pint. So after I had a couple of beers in the pub, Gemma picked me up, brought me home where she'd cooked a fantastic curry for me, bless her, and after I'd eaten that I watched Tom do a live cast on YouTube and then I fell asleep in the chair. So this is 11 o'clock now and I'm recording the sign off for the video, but there's one thing I want to touch on before we go, and that is why you'll see me doing projects such as cleaning up that dirty old sink. The way the brewer is operating at the minute, it's not producing anything, okay? So 
my task is to get the whole shebang up and running so that we can make a product and then the business can then support itself, pay its own rent. I need to take a wage out of this, which I'm not at the minute. And all these kind of things only come about by getting the unit prepared to start making a product. In the meantime, I have to be very careful with where I spend any funds and frankly going out and buying a double sink when I had one there doesn't make any financial sense so I weighed it up what does a double sink cost probably about 80 quid how long is it going to take me to clean it up well today it took me four or five hours so if I do the math that works out about 20 quid an hour can I go somewhere else and earn 20 pound an hour today no so therefore it made financial sense for me to clean up that sink and you'll see me doing this with a lot of other projects now there's more than financial reason as well behind this I love I get a buzz out of recycling reusing repurposing old materials and very rarely unless I need something bespoke like some screws or some taps or something that I can't fabricate or don't yet have the means to fabricate I will be forced to go out and buy but if I can make it I'll make it and hopefully that's what's keeping these videos interesting so on that note folks thanks for watching I think tomorrow marks uh, or today as you're watching this marks a full month of videos and I think we will reflect on that in tomorrow's vlog but in the meantime I'm a bit of a Judas by drinking a cider. So cheers folks, see you tomorrow.